Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech World, and today I'm doing a review on my dad's iPhone 13 Pro, which I did not buy for reasons I listed in a different video. <laughs> things I want to mention before we get started. One, I'm actually using a different microphone I got for my birthday, so tell me how it sounds below, if it sounds better than previous. I usually just record my audio off my MacBook or my iPhone. Today I'm using my iPhone, but I'm using like this extension, so it's a separate microphone, but it's through my iPhone. So tell me if it sounds any better. And then the other thing is, is that most of the B-roll shots will be actually used from 91 Tech, because I accidentally... Um, I was um, I went through and got a bunch of pictures from my dad's phone to put in my thing But I never actually recorded the phone so I could put into this video But now I'm actually away for a little bit so I won't be able to do this by the time I need this video to be out so um, All all the shots will mostly be 91 tech besides like a couple that I had from before um, From when I went to the Apple store and whatever So but all the pictures that I will show you are all gonna be from me. So anyway, let's get started Let's start off talking about the design. It has Sierra Blue, Space Gray, Gold, Silver, and then a new Alpine Green as the new colors. But next week, none of these will be sold. And they will be replaced by these iPhone 14 Pro colors, which will have a new purple and a blue, which I don't think Apple would release all five colors at once. I think they'll wait six months for at least one of them. But who knows? I don't know, obviously. But we'll find out next week. So if colors are important to you, just look into this, that these might be your new colors. Now for the only B-roll I have of the iPhone 13 that's mine personally is actually this one from the Apple Store that I saw when it first came out. And that was uh, showing the 120 hertz, which is obviously like the big name, like one of the big features when people ask you about that. But how does 120 hertz work? Think of it as like one of those uh, sticky pad notebooks where you can draw something and then you flip through it and it changes like an animation. It's how many pictures it will show a second. So normal iPhones would do 60 frames while the 120 hertz iPhones will do um, 120, obviously. But I can't show this with camera because YouTube only does caps out at 60 frames a second, so you have to slow it down for you to even to notice. And even then, you have to have a, a 60 hertz iPhone, which I do not have with me, to even really show it off. So it kind of looks choppy here, but against a uh, 60 hertz iPhone, it would look way better. Now, the cameras on these things are nothing to mock at. They are amazing. Now, I don't know really how to tell you that they're amazing besides just showing you. So I have um, like eight images. Three of them are going to be the ultra wide, the wide, and the telephoto. Then I have a macro shot. And then I just have a regular shot. And then uh, I don't know. I don't know, remember all I have, but I'll just show you what I have. going back and editing this I'm kind of mad because I always tell myself never take a picture or a video in uh, portrait mode always do it sideways so it could be in 16 by 9 so it's nice and easy for YouTube well I never I didn't do not one of those photos was a natively 16 by 9 and I was like well I have to use it because I'm not gonna be by that phone for a couple weeks so here we are <laughs> so why would you even go for this phone like it's like the new ones are coming out in two weeks well I've got a couple good reasons for you ever I don't I haven't heard like barely any complaints like saying that this is a genuinely bad phone like I see here like some little things like yada yada but it's like no there's like no deal breakers whatsoever it's like great battery life great cameras great everything and yeah then the iPhone 14s are coming out next week but then the guess what the iPhone 14s are getting a hundred dollar price hikes maybe I don't know I haven't seen the event this might come out after the event now I think of it but I don't know hopefully not um, so I, we have the gotten the far out poster. So they're thinking that it's going to get a hundred dollar increase. And then these 13s and stuff are going to get a hundred dollar decrease just because they're not going to be sold anymore. And they're going to go in a refurbished store. So these phones will be so good at $900 for that, um, really easy accessible, um, price point of like an Apple refurbished. That would be like a great place to get all these phones in like two weeks. So this phone is still a great and decent phone. Great battery life, great cameras, great accessibility, great iOS, great everything. It's going to be supported till 2027 at the least. 
Overall, I think it's a great phone, and I would buy it if I wasn't this close and had the money for the 14. If you had the 14, go for it, definitely. That's what I'm doing. But if you just want a decent phone, the 13 is going to be a great phone, even five years from now. Eh, maybe, I don't know. Um, and now, this video is not over. Of course not. You might think there's some more review. No. This is also my uh, rumor recap video for next week's event. Now, I think that we are going to get one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. I think we're gonna get seven products. I think we're getting two types of iPhones, three types of watches, one iPad, and a set of AirPods. Hopefully, I'm really hoping there's AirPods. Anyway, I made this little, little fun uh, 40 second clip that I'll show you right here. Good morning. Our most popular iPad gets a completely new all screen design. We can't wait for you to try the next generation of AirPods Pro, Apple Watch SC, Series 2. This is the new Apple Watch Series 8. This is the incredible Apple Watch Series 8 Pro. An iPhone 14 with fantastic new technologies, including our most advanced dual camera system, iPhone 14 Pro, with our most state-of-the-art technologies for those who want the most out of their iPhone. Wow. What an amazing now, day. In 50 seconds there, I just should, told you everything about the Apple event it, with clips you, the Apple said in some of their keynotes. So now you don't need to watch the Apple event. Of course you need to watch the Apple event. Maybe they won't give me AirPods. If they won't give me AirPods, I'm going to cry. Because I need to buy a new phone. I need to buy a new AirPods. I need to buy a new watch. But they haven't confirmed that the AirPods are coming. So it makes me sad. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy today's multi-type vid video. And I hope you like the new microphone. Hopefully it works. Hello? I don't know if you heard me. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed now, and I can work on another video tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>